Hi, my name is Jody. I'm the Director of Nursing of GTG Care. Today we're going to demonstrate giving a respiratory treatment and CPT. This is Leonie. Um, she's one of our children here. She has CP. She also has some respiratory issues as well. This is Osvaldo, one of our nurses. He's going to be assisting me today. Okay. First, you're going to check her. The First, you want to check the pulse oximeter. Yeah, Mimi. You want to always record a reading before and after to determine the effectiveness of the treatment. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, 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 Leonie. Leonie, princess, princess. Yeah. All right. Hi, my name is Jody. I'm the Director of Nursing of GTG Care. Today we're going to demonstrate giving a respiratory treatment and CPT. This is Leonie. Um, she's one of our children here. She has CP. She also has some respiratory issues as well. This is Osvaldo, one of our nurses. He's going to be assisting me today. Okay. First, you're going to check her. The First, you want to check the pulse oximeter. Yeah, Mimi. You want to always record a reading before and after to determine the effectiveness of the treatment. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, 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 Leonie. Leonie, princess, princess. Mira. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, most respiratory treatments will run about anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Um, what we're going to do now, we're going to do some CPT, which is where you cup your hands like this and you lightly pat on the back. You don't want to hit too hard, and you want to make sure that your hand is cupped where there is a scoop in the middle. If you're hitting it, if you're Cupping your hand properly, you should hear a, a, a sound, like kind of like a drum. That's what you want because then it's going to break up the secretions and it helps to loosen them up so that they can actually um, get them out on their own. Okay? All right, Leonie. You ready? Yeah. No, it's okay, sweetie. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, Leonie. So now, again, you want to cup your hand like this. You don't want your hand flat because that's going to hurt them. You want to cup your hands, and you're just going to go up and down each side of the back. Okay? Yes. Oh, it doesn't hurt. You're good, Mama. And you'll hear like a, a drum sound, kind of a dull sound. You don't want to hear a smacking sound. If you hear a smacking, and you're hitting too hard, and your hand is not cupped properly. Okay. Very good. All right. Yay, good job, Leonie. Thank you. Now what we want to do is we're going to we're going to recheck her pole socks to see the effectiveness of the treatment. Oh, Leonie, that's it. Oh, it's okay, my dear. It's okay, sweetie. Okay. Okay, Leonie. Okay, okay. You're a little fighter. <gasps> Leonie. Leonie, it's okay. No, Mama, it's okay. Okay, it's okay. Oh, okay. Very good, Leonie. You did an awesome job. You did wonderful. Perfect. Now, you want to monitor the oxygen saturations before and after treatment to see if there's an improvement in the, the oxygen saturations or if it remains the same. What, the goal is for it not to go down. You want to see improvements. You want to see that the treatments are working. They're doing what they're supposed to. Um, also, you want to listen to breath sounds before and after. You want to hear if there's wheezes. Is there adventitious sounds, sounds that don't sound normal? Are they still there after the treatment? If they are, then you know you're going to write those down. You're going to record those. So I hope this helps.